Rico here again. This time I'm back with more Earth Defense Force. Uh, this is a second part video to uh, the first one that I did for the Ranger, showing off some of his high level what weaponry. Uh, having trouble saying that word today. So, anyway, I've got some more high level weapons for the Ranger, and I thought you all might want to see them, want to show them off, let you all. Uh, check them out. Uh, plus, I got one of the new weapons that was just added to this game, uh, which is the Cascade Iota. So I'm going to show that off to you as well. And you all will be happy to know I'm not going to take you back to Crimson. I'm sure you're all disappointed about that. So uh, I'm going to take you to the city, let you see some buildings and stuff get decimated, maybe take out a few drop ships. Uh, we're going to have some fun. So let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, guys, um, here we are with the Ranger. I'm going to show you off his uh, AF-100. This is the highest level machine gun that you can get for him. It's a level 85. Has a capacity of 180, does 290 points of damage, and has a range of 264 meters. Uh, so it's not a, obviously not going to be as long as a sniper rifle, but it's still got a good range on it, and it can do a whole lot of damage to these bugs. Next weapon I'm going to show you is one of my personal favorites. The Stingray MF has five rounds. Each round does 2,000 damage and has a, a reload of two seconds, which is awesome for this weapon because this thing really pumps out the damage. It can do a whole lot of damage to a boss. It can clear out massive mounds of bugs that are coming at you. As you can see, it's got a blast radius of 19 meters. Um, it has a range of 3,000 meters, and you can even zoom in with it. So we're going to check it out too, see what kind of devastation we can do with it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, here we go. Starting the mission right now. Got a little dropship here. So let's start out with the Stingray. Let's zoom in. Whoa. <laughs> Oop, got a little close to that light pole there. All right. Look at how quick this fires. And reloads. This thing is a beast. Oh, yeah. Let's blow up some bugs. This thing pretty much fires as quick as you can pull the trigger. Oh, here we go. Drop ships open. Let's see how many shots it takes to blow it up on hard. Ooh, two shots took it out on hard. Okay, guys, you all have got to get this gun. It is a beast. All right, well, getting a little close, so let's flip over to the AF-100. Okay, and like I said a moment ago, I'm just playing this on hard so y'all can see it, but on hard, it is, it almost feels like one bullet is killing the ants. So as you can see, this gun is, this machine gun is devastating. It just chews them up. So if it's doing it this quick on hard, I can imagine it does it pretty quick on hardest and inferno as well. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this drop ship that's above us. Oh, wait, there's one. Oh! I tell you what, on a side note, that's one of the things I love about this game is the attention to detail with the destruction. That dropship didn't just blow up into a cloud of flames in the sky and no parts drop to the ground. No, that dropship itself is coming down. It is crashing to the ground. It just adds to the enjoyment factor of this game. I can remember being a kid playing games and you'd blow up something like a helicopter and it would blow up in the air in just a cloud of smoke and maybe the propeller would fall down. Well, where's the rest of it? I know it didn't disintegrate, 
Where'd the rest of the helicopter go? Well, in this game, you shoot a drop ship down, it's coming down. The whole thing's coming down. And in a minute, for those of you who may not have ever played this, it's got a secondary <laughs> feature. It explodes in a big mass of explosion that only EDF can do. That is what is great about this game, guys. The sheer volume of destruction, just a mass amount of fun you can have, and granted, it doesn't have the best graphics in the world, but it's got the detail where it counts in the destruction, in the bug guts it <laughs> come out. And one more should do it. Boom! Look at that. That's just awesome. That is just awesome. It's got an awesome explosion when you first shoot it. And then you got your awesome crash animation followed by a massive, massive explosion at the end. It just adds to the fun factor of this game. Just the sheer fun factor. Looks like we got one ant left on here. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. So you have got to see the AF-100. You've got to see the Stingray EMF. And what better way to finish off that last ant than to shoot it with the Stingray EMF and watch the legs and head and everything else just go flying. Grab a couple boxes here before I take and show you all the other weapons I have in store for you guys today. The next couple weapons I'm going to show you are, let me find it over here. First one is the Volatile Name Palm. Now granted, it's not a high, high level weapon, but if you've never used this weapon, take it into a cave level. Take it into a cave level and shoot it into the cave, the mouth of the cave where the bugs and stuff are coming in. And you'll see why this gun is really good. So I'm going to, I want to take that in. I'm going to take you to a cave level. Take it in and show you how it works. And then I told you I was going to show you the Cascade Iota. So I'm going to take it in as well. Just let you see what it can do. It has 15 rounds, does 600 damage with the, with each round, has a uh, reload of two and a half seconds, not bad at all, and a radius, a blast radius of eight meters. It's a powerful gun. It, it's powerful, and granted, it may not put out as much damage as the Stingray MF with each shot, but it puts out a lot more shots, so you can get the damage out there and quickly. So we're going to take a look at this weapon as well. This may not be a good idea. <laughs> I'm going to be in uh, tight corners with a rocket launcher. But uh, it's the only way I can really show you off the volcanic napalm in an effective manner. So just bear with me. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if I can't clear a path real fast. Look at that, guys. Look how quick that fires. Reloads pretty quick. Look at that. Cascade Iota. It's quite a beast. Quite a beast. I think I've used that word quite a bit tonight. So. <laughs> Alright, let's go down here. Oh, I've got some ants coming. Clear those out here. It is a bug destroyer. Yeah, so guys, you might not want to use this weapon in a cave like I'm doing, but <laughs> but I didn't want to sh have to do two different maps to show you two different weapons, so that's what we're doing here. I'm going to try to keep myself alive long enough to show you these weapons in an effective manner. So let's see what we can do here. I think they're right there in the opening. <laughs> I'm going to get myself killed. I can see it now. 
All right. I'm gonna jump up here. A little light down in there. See if I can aggro the ants and get them to come out a little bit. I'm thinking there's an entrance right over here on the right. Oh yeah, watch this, here we go. Volcanic napalm, guys. Watch why I say this level 55 weapon is a weapon you wanna to try to use in a cave. Uh, that entrance might be a bit big. Let's take oh, let's take one of them off. Here we go. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. And if I'm not mistaken, this weapon lasts for about 30 seconds before it uh, dies. So as you can see, those ants are trying to get me, and they're pouring into that fire trying to get to me. And if you look up around the map, they're all dead. Every one of them's dead now. And the nice thing is, is it keeps burning long enough for your gun to reload, so you don't have to worry about getting caught with your pants down. So let's go try some more. I might as well grab these boxes since I did manage to kill them. And granted, like I told you guys, I am playing on... Uh, uh, hard difficulty, but it still works great on hardest and on inferno may not kill them as quickly Or kill as many, but it holds them back guys. It can be a lifesaver. It can hold them back while you uh, reload guns Oh, yeah, here we go Here they come. Yep, throw it right there in the entranceway. So, I thought they were coming. There we go, I done got them mad now. Here they come. Look at that. Volcanic napalm, level 55. They're trying to get to me, but they're having a hard time doing it. They're having a real hard time getting through that flame. That's why this weapon is so good in the caves. You fire it, you wait, you got time to reload it again before the flame burns out, and then you're pretty much protected. Let's use them a little bit more. We got some spiders coming here. Let's check. Let's see if we can do some more damage to him. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, there's a spider hole. Oh, crud. Run! Scoot back. I gotta be careful, I'm gonna blow myself up. Uh oh, they're coming after me. Fire the napalm. Yeah, I got hit by the napalm a little bit. Oh, it went out. Oh, that's one thing you have to watch out about the napalm, guys. If you manage to stick it to an enemy, it will only last as long as that enemy is alive. So the best bet for the volcanic napalm is to stick it to the side of a wall, and then it'll burn for the entire duration. Oh, here we go. Perfect Earth Defense Force glitch fest. Webs coming through the walls. If we were playing... On Death Queen, we'd have uh, bee stingers coming through the walls. <laughs> I made a comment about that one time, and somebody online said, listen, if you don't have webs coming through the walls and you don't have stingers coming through the walls, you're not playing EDF. And <laughs> I had to agree with them. That's 
part of the charm, I guess you could say. The bad programming on some of this stuff. <laughs> but you can't help but love this game. It's just an awesome game. And this is why I love the volcanic napalm. It can give you some breathing room to recover. So anyway, guys, I won't keep you on. I will uh, go ahead and wrap this up. You've got to see the volcanic napalm. You've got to see the Cascade Iota and all their glory. So I'll end the video now. So guys, as you know, like I always say, take care, God bless, and keep on gaming.